Dear students, I welcome you all to this digital electronics tutorial series. In this video, we will learn about the consensus theorem. So, what do we understand by consensus theorem? This is a theorem that is applicable for three variable Boolean expression. So, what we understand by three variable Boolean expression? Suppose we have the variables a, comma b, comma c. These are the three variables. So, using these three variables, for example, if we have one expression expression and if this expression has certain conditions fulfilled then we can use the consensus theorem so how we will apply this what are the expectation what is the significance of this theorem we can reduce the term or we can remove the redundant terms from a given boolean expression if it satisfies some of the conditions so first point is in the case of consensus theorem there must be three variables okay so first condition is let me write down here three variables should be present first condition is three variables so let us consider a b and c these are the three variables i will consider one example then i, I will explain it and after that we'll verify using the boolean algebra as well okay so first condition for fulfilling or for using the consensus theorem first condition is we must have three variables okay now let us come to the second condition what is the second condition each variable is repeated twice so what do we understand by each variable is repeated twice so here we can see a is a variable b is another variable c is another variable in the given boolean expression a must be present twice maybe in the suppose mean term expression or sum of product expression or sometimes we may have product of some expression this theorem is applicable for both sop and pos that is the sum of product and product of some expressions and if we have these two conditions satisfied then we can go for the next condition okay so second condition is each variable is repeated twice now let me write down the third condition for the consensus theorem so what is the third condition one variable must be in complemented form so let me write down here so what do we understand by complemented form suppose we have a variable a so what will be the complement it will be a bar or we can write also like this okay this is the complemented form if a value is 1 a complement will be 0 or this is also same this is the denotation so these are the two denotation for a complement so it is also 0 in the third expression we have understood that one variable must be in complemented form okay it may be also present in normal form but one of the terms should have a complemented variable we will see one example then we will understand it properly okay now the fourth condition or fourth step we can say fourth step so this if this one two and three conditions are fulfilled then we can go for the fourth step take the terms with the complemented variable okay if a is complemented variable then we have to keep all the terms having a if suppose b variable is complemented then we have to keep the all the terms with b variable okay and we can discard the remaining so fourth step is take the terms with complemented variable and we have to discard the remaining term that does not contain the complemented variable if we consider one expression then we will understand properly we will consider one sop expression and one pos expression so first suppose let us consider example number one in example number one we have suppose a b plus b c plus a bar c now we have to check for the first three conditions so how many variables are there a b and c these are the three variables present so the first condition is fulfilled second condition is each variable is repeated twice so a is here one time and a is present in complemented form this is the second second term okay we are having a if we see b also this is the first term and in the second term we have the b okay b is also present twice now let us go for c c is present here and c is present here 
okay so each of these variables are present more than once that is twice it is present okay now the second condition is also fulfilled now let us go to our third condition third condition means one variable must be in complemented form in the third condition one variable must be present in complemented form so if we see this expression carefully a is present in normal form and it is present also in complemented form so all these given three conditions are satisfied this third point is also satisfied here now we have to apply this consensus theorem how we will apply this take the terms with complemented variable the fourth point take the terms with complemented variable and we have to discard all the remaining terms that does not contain the complemented variable here a is in normal form and a is in complemented form so what we have to do we have to keep the terms that have the variable a so we can write it as if we consider the consensus theorem if we apply this consensus theorem so we have to keep a containing terms a b and a bar c we can discard this b c okay so we can write directly as a b plus a bar c so here we'll be having a bar c this will be the second term we can discard or we can remove the redundant term b c so this is the consensus theorem now let us verify if it is correct or not let us verify from our side we can use boolean algebra and use some basic formulas in the boolean expressions we can verify it now let us consider the left hand side of this equation so this is the left hand side how we can write it so we have to use some technique so that we can verify using boolean expression so in boolean expression or boolean algebra we know that a plus a bar it is equal to 1 so if we multiply 1 with any of the term so this that term will be remaining as it is okay let me write down here since this is the formula okay now let me write down here a b plus b c here we are missing with the term a or here we are missing with the variable a so b c we can write in bracket a plus a bar and we have the third term is a bar c this term if it is as it is okay now let us uh, simplify a b plus a b c plus a bar b c plus a bar c okay up to here i hope you are getting my point if we take common from this first term and the second term what will happen if we take common a b we will be having one plus c and from the second and the third time if you consider a bar c common a bar c common what will happen b plus one will be in the bracket okay so what will happen one plus c one plus c one plus a or a bar it will be one if we in in boolean algebra if we add one to any variable then the result will be one only one plus a equal to one so what will happen a b and this 1 plus c is it is 1 okay we can remove that and a bar c b plus 1 is also same it will be equal to 1 and this term is the right hand side of the given expression we have got this is the expression and this is the right hand side of the equation now let us consider one product of some expression so that we can verify for that also so let us consider one example number two in the example number two suppose we have a plus b suppose we are considering the same terms only now in the product of sum a bar plus c and we are multiplied with we are in uh, an operation with b plus c this is the uh, product of some expression so using consensus theorem we can directly remove this term why this term does not have the complemented variable okay here also we can see we have three variables we have one variable in complemented form okay and each variable is repeated twice a is present twice one in the normal form and one in the complemented form b is also variable b variable is also present but it is in normal form in both the terms and c is also present in normal form so using consensus theorem we can directly write it as a plus b 
and a bar plus c so this will be using consensus theorem now let us prove this expression so you can prove this expression or you can solve this expression you remove the brackets and you find out the simplified form from the left hand side and the right hand side if we break this expression and if we break this expression into the sum of product expression then the left hand side and the right hand side will be equal we can show that the left hand side equal to the right hand side of the equation this is all about the consensus theorem i hope you are benefited from this video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you